testing out a little video here, seeing what it looks like from uh, everyone else's perspective. A little chesty on the GoPro. I'm gonna stand up a column, it's a pilaster. It ties into a wall, it's just all made of rebar tied together. It's probably 20 feet long. We're gonna stand it up and uh, send it over and set it, and we'll see what that looks like on video. Over in my right hand, we got uh, hoist control, so it goes push down for down. We got up for up, and pull them back towards you. On the left hand, left hand side, we got brake for the twist. That's a brake for the swing. Um, and then we've got uh, swing and left. We just push the controller to the left. That was the brakes opening up. And then to the right, we just push to the right and reset my brake since there's a little bit of a breeze out and get pushed around by the wind. Got it. Trolley in, trolley out. That's how this thing runs. Some cranes uh, will have a fourth control for uh, traveling when you're set up on rails. So that's also an option. Looks like my guys are about ready. Calling for hoist up here real soon. All right, go ahead and pull back to my second step and hoist up. I'm in third clutch and a Libera 550. Standing up, so I'm gonna trolley out a little bit. Uh, just nice and easy. Get my swing over swung a little bit as I'm coming up. And this is all a guess from here. I'm gonna slow down my hoist and it's about to pop up. Stop my trolley, keep coming up. Like it, coming up. We're gonna head down that north wall. It was a decent to stand. The end, uh, far west. Not as good as it gets, but we're gonna go a long ways out, so I'm gonna have to come in quickly. So I go into my third step, which is really fast on these. Well, it's not that it's really fast; it's the change between second and third is crazy. And now I'm going to start my swing because I got power lines on my left that I'm coming around, so I got to make sure I'm within a point that I have marked out on the jib in my head where I need to go. Start my swing. When you start your movements, you want to get it moving and then pick up the pace. So I just slow it down. So I stay in a relatively fast pace coming in, then I slow it down. The idea is to keep some control of the load. I can see that it's drifting a little bit, so I take a little more in just for fun. Then I uh, start my trolley out again coming out kind of easy and then now that I'm clear of those power lines I can get moving again I'm not sure exactly which one we're going to so we'll get lined up in an area and just get out there a ways um, one of the things you can see is there's an orange uh, line running out there and that's within 10 feet of the power lines these aren't actually high voltage lines that we're dealing with out here, but they uh, they are power lines, so we got to stay away from them. I'm a long ways from where I need to be, so I'm you know, and start my down. I slowed down my trolley, so I'm a ways away from where I need to be. Just getting it down a ways. Back line. Trolley. Hi. My trolley means stop the trolley, so that's what I did. There's a little bit of drift in it. It's a column, so I'm going to need out. You can see how it's not quite right. So taking a little bit of the out that I know I need, even though he hasn't asked for it. And I'm probably going to need a little bit more when I swing right, because again, it's, it's not straight angles. It's a big radius, so it's a big curve you're dealing with, right? So I'll take nice, easy bumps of swinging to the right when he's ready and then uh, probably a couple bumps of trolley out which hey, swinging into it. means just a little bit of bump so I give uh, nice and easy and swinging back which counter torque swing so I know he was about to Table need down. it and I set the brake inches from contact uh, high gear down yeah gear down now you ready? I might have walked on you. Cable down. 
when you're setting columns, it's pretty tight. There's a lot of things that hang up on. And so you have to gear down to a slower gear. It just won't run slow enough in third clutch to set a column or a pilaster like this. You can see that it's leaning oh, yeah. out, which means there's a bunch of weight. When it leans like that, it means there's a bunch of weight that's you're come right off that, of it. Uh, you're right on those flags here with the head. Just give you heads up. Copy that. Cable up. Hi. So the, the hoist up is kind of fast. All right, cable down. Even in that second clutch, so I just give it little bumps. On these old LeBears, to hoist down, you go straight to second step. Uh, unless you have a really heavy weight on, because that first uh, just really opens the brake. It doesn't really put power to the hoist. Easy, down inches. You can see my rigging starting to get a little bit slack. It's coming in a little bit. Normally it's straight out, so it's coming in a little bit. It means it's and it bouncing a bit, and then you can tell that it's getting loose. And that's setting a column on a tower crane.